my mom. Aw, oh, he's so cute playing with his Legos. Meanwhile, me and the lore of the Legos. Um, this is probably where I got my history obsession from. So glad my mom bought me no-no German Legos as well. Out here recreating the invasion of the Soviet Union. Meanwhile, the super weapon arms race between Germany and the USA. Germany out here building a slightly larger tank than there's the US with a portable star. To be fair, the Germans also tried to build their own portable star. You will never pass, says the French. Yep, you do defend this border pretty well. Cut to exactly 42 days later. The French defended that border so well, the Germans decided just to go around it, which again, France did plan for. They just didn't plan for them to be that fast and to be able to move so easily through the Ardennes forest. Joseph Stalin screaming, Roosevelt Churchill, where the freak is my second front? Uh, yeah, at this point, there wasn't any. I mean, they would get to Normandy eventually. Well, I mean, in a way, Finland definitely gave the Soviet Union a second front. A second front to have to worry about. No, you can't send something into space before Sputnik. We know more about rockets than you. Haha, <laughs> manhole cover go boom. Apparently, this was the first ever object humans sent to outer space. It's literally one of the most American things. Meanwhile, General Douglas MacArthur walking to the UN to tell them to nuke China. Then, two seconds later, him also being fired. For some reason, I'm assuming he probably thought the worst thing they could say is no. Stanislav, we're picking up incoming missiles. We have to tell the Kremlin. No. But the computer, uh, the science. Nothing ever happens. Stanislav Petrov just casually deciding to save the world. It's a normal Tuesday for this guy. NATO was created in 1949 to counter the influence of the USSR. The USSR asking to join NATO in 1954. Talk about an Uno reverse card. I swear they should have just let him in. It would have just been kind of funny to have seen that. How it started. Oh, that's a big, beautiful Austria-Hungarian empire. Meanwhile, how it's actually going. Now, not so much. It's literally just like kind of hard to even look at. The Portuguese in the 1500s. What a beautiful island. Now it is mine. Meanwhile, the Portuguese now, um, well, uh, yeah. They've even somehow lost their own language. I always laugh whenever I see the language Portuguese along with a Brazilian flag. Ah yes, the Portuguese waiting for the king to come back from Morocco. It's been nearly 200 years. He must be having a pretty great time, I guess. In 1578, when he was most likely oofed, um, this eventually led to the Iberian Union. This along with many other things led to Portugal's decline. Liechtenstein, after 80 soldiers are sent to war and 81 return home. That that's how good they are at war. They literally recruit more while they're fighting. Talk about winning with the power of friendship. The US government when the Soviet Union collapsed. Ah, finally. Hey, wait a minute. The horror that must have come across them when they realized, wait a second, the country with the largest arsenal just collapsed. The chaos that must have ensued when this happened. Yeah, Meanwhile, the British nice Empire, really uh, they're literally just- See if it works. <laughs> Oh, it's gonna work. Beautifully. Very beautifully. I mean, I guess you could say it's beautiful. The British cutting Ireland, South Asia, the Middle East. I'm sure this won't lead to any consequences at all. Be me, Romanian nationalist. Start dating this Ukrainian girl. That feeling win girlfriend. My friend doesn't miss and also gets a girlfriend. She is Hungarian. Try to talk him out of it. He doesn't listen. End our 15-year-old friendship. Sorry, Florin, but my loyalty to Romania is greater than our friendship. <laughs> you think he'd be dating a Romanian woman, though? I, you know, what? The Turkification of Antolia. I heard you were unhappy with the Roman regime. Wanna join us? I thought you'd never ask. Frick your Roman Empire. I'm now a Turk. Meanwhile, the Byzantine Emperor. Is that how they defeated them so easily like that? Putin ally hints at Russian plot to reclaim Alaska. Hold on, says the US. This whole operation was your idea. We didn't even know we wanted it. You're the one that wanted to sell it in the first place. We just couldn't skip out on a really nice deal. There are men who ruled vast empires that nonetheless never came close to the decadence of getting two bloomin' onions, a steak salad, lobster tail, a flake, and a chicken sandwich delivered to their actual house. A fillet? Did I say that right? Meanwhile, people are complaining about DoorDash. It is a bit expensive at times, I will admit, but I will feel greater than most emperors out there. The average height of a Chinese peasant during the spring and autumn period, 163 centimeters. That's below 5'6", I know that. Meanwhile, Confucius. Holy crap. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's the key uh, word there. <laughs> Wait, seven? To the first Japanese embassy to Europe in 1582. You guys can touch my robes. <laughs> Thank you. Philip II kisses them on the cheek. Uh, 
thank you. Meanwhile, arrives back in Japan, 1590. The Europeans weren't savages, and I think we should become Christian. Uh, no. You are all exiles now. <laughs> what a funny way to describe this whole event. How fascinating. <laughs> Get one kiss and be like, yo, those guys are pretty cool. Byzantine in 543. We are the strongest state in the world. Meanwhile, Byzantine in 1440. Uh, Euro, please help. We also got some background information on uh, how they had some of their own people turning to Turks, I guess. Dad, why did my mom name my little brother Patton? Because your mom loves World War II history. Ah, so that makes sense. World War II history is so cool. Oh, tell me about it, Nebuchadnezzar. <laughs> this man, a true Giga Chad historian, not into just World War II when it comes to studying world history. Uh, what are you doing in Iceland? Mind your own business. Definitely doesn't look good. Yeah, they were pirates and they were just doing a little bit of uh, raiding or trolling. They pulled an Uno reverse card since it's kind of what the Vikings did to them like a thousand years earlier. American medals. It's a medal of honor because it's a medal of honor. It's a silver star because it's made of gold. What? Versus Chad Portuguese medals. Ancient and most noble military order of the tower and the sword of the valor, loyalty and merit established 1459, older than the US. Meanwhile, crosses are based and order of Christ equals Giga Chad moment. Okay, Portugal. You didn't have to just completely show us up like that. 1945, no, surrender is not the way of the warrior before dishonor versus 1970. Uh, yeah, my master just called me a monkey, so I'm defecting to your clan. Well, that was simple enough. Dude, what the heck? Monkeys are based. Hawaiian history be like, we have this queen and Hawaiian independence. Who's gonna pop up here and... I got you, bro. We're gonna see about that. Uh, oh, pineapple farmers. Uh, I guess Hawaiian independence is not exactly going to work out. And... Oh, um... Well, there goes Hawaiian <laughs> independence. Those pineapple farmers really wanted uh, to, I guess, join the U.S. <laughs> Just to get all the profits. Uh, I guess everything's okay, though. Huh, wasn't so bad. Well, until Pearl Harbor gets blown up. I bet he's thinking about other girls. Why are lions so common in European heraldry if they were extinct in the continent before all those dynasties were even born? That is a good question. I mean, my only theory is they must have still known about the existence of them just in Africa. That actually probably made them even more legendary in their European minds. They probably built them up to be even crazier in their head. Neil Armstrong planting the American flag on the moon. Also, Neil Armstrong putting a flag of the Argentine football club on the moon as well. I had no idea he was such a fan. Why didn't they tell us this? I guess he did it in order to honor them and somehow bring them good luck. Ah! Oh my goodness, his first words. Ah! Alexander the Great was Macedonian. Baby found in- Oh, <laughs> oh, okay. I'm thinking the baby thought he was gonna be born in the US or something. He was sadly mistaken. I'd love to go back in time and blow people's minds with my knowledge. Nah, bust the way, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, uh, you can't even really go that far back in time and still be able to understand English. Have you ever read Shakespeare? That seems almost like a whole nother language. What the hell are they doing in Poland? The PPPP, or the Polish Beer Lovers Party, was founded in 1990 and they, I guess, use beer drinking in English-style pubs uh, instead of vodka as their number one goal. They just seem like they're having a good time. Blunderwaffen versus actual super weapons. We've got a tank that cannot move versus a bomber flying so high nothing can hit it, an artillery that needs 3,000 to operate versus a fighter with the range of a bomber, a jet with an engine life of five hours versus a proximity fuse, a rocket interceptor that oofs the pilot versus a radar-guided bomb because apparently there was not enough ways to sink Japanese ships. Finally, whatever the freak this was versus, uh, want to see two suns on the same day. Yeah, again, um, certain super weapons are not made the same. Pretty generic turn super weapons. I mean, everything kind of falls under that umbrella. Some are just better than others. Our tanks were high quality, but we didn't have a lot of them. Our tanks weren't high quality, but we sure had a lot of them. America best, we won the war alone. M4 best tank. Oh boy, more tank slander. However, this was kind of our secret weapon all along. My patrons on Patreon, thank you. Carino is best girl. Sebi, if you hear this, I love Jack you. Jack Draven's annoying friend. I can't sleep without Drew's Drew voice. Drew on your dad, back with the milk. Look outside. Amateur archaeology. A fat normal. Carmel S. Frederick Tiddle. Inquisitors. Zero Zero Mexican. John Denver. Carino is best girl. Lemons Lines. Luxembourg Lover. Orton 516. Robert Ryan e. the Pie. The Great Ralphie. And Zany Boy 